Hey, hello again, Mike from the Charles Mill Marina. Thanks for joining me today. What we're gonna do today is take a look at StarCraft's LX line of pontoon boats, as well as Sun Chaser's Vista line of pontoon boats. They offer great bang for your buck and a great entry point into the pontoon boat market. The first thing we're gonna do is take a look at the construction of these boats. So starting here on the tubes, these are machine welded. They have really, really high quality welds all the way through that are not gonna leak on you and they're guaranteed for life. So really, really high end. We also take a look across the front here. We do notice that it is an eight foot beam. So this is a less wide boat, but it also trailers really, really nicely. It works out well for exploring all of Ohio's inland waterways. As we take a little bit of a look further back here, we do notice the nice splash guards here. Keeps the water off your boat. Keeps it uh, looking clean on the exterior. Make sure no one's getting soaking wet when they don't want to on the lake. And just because we can't see everything under here doesn't mean there's not important pieces here. What you'll see here on the front of this boat is hat under structure that makes this boat extremely solid. Doesn't move, doesn't budge on you, as well as some noise dampening tape here that goes right on top of this cross member to keep the vibration away and keep your ride as quiet as possible. It's a feature that very few boats in the pontoon market offer. So this boat is going to be quiet. There's going to be no vibration. There's no rattle when you're out on a Starcraft or a Sun Chaser. Really, really nice feature there. We also notice that these cross members go all the way out to the edge of your pontoon boat. So it's solid all the way to the edge, anywhere you're standing on the boat, really, really solid. As you can see, we also have a nice high quality cleat here. It's tucked back in out of the way, so it leaves you a clear pathway, so no one uh, is gonna hit their feet on the way through. Starcraft and Sun Chaser boats are family owned and operated, built by boat users, so they know that tucking a cleat out of the way, really important piece. Uh, some other things as we work our way toward the back of this boat, you do notice recessed uh, paneling here, so this is back as well, so it gives you uh, some additional durability here. And they also offer this in nine great color options, um, from caribou brown to emerald green to your burgundies and blue, we have a color package that's made for you. So, it, also we notice really nice welding here, anodized rails, these are heavy duty, these aren't going to show signs of weathering, corrosion, these are going to go look good for you for the long term. We also notice that same noise dampening that is used on the cross members is used on the panels, so as you tap these boats, you're not going to hear vibrations, these are real solid made panels well put together. Many lines of boats don't take the time to do that and you're going to rattle like a tin can going down the lake. So Starcraft Sun Chaser, really really solid builds there. Uh, as you can see we got another cleat here tucked out of the way, not going to hit anyone's feet when they're getting out on the back in a ladder. And as you see here we have a four step aluminum ladder. It opens all the way up. So for anyone who's down further into the lake, it does offer a great way in and out of the lake for folks. It's sturdy, it's well built, and it's easy to use and operate. Easy to put back away when you're done swimming for the day. You just very simply connect it right back up, put it back together, and head back to your day. So the exterior of these boats really, really sharp. Um, it's about time to get on the inside of one of these and look at all the interior features that these StarCraft and Sun Chasers boats have to offer. So here we are on Sun Chaser's 16-foot Vista LR model. It's a great cruise model. And to me, the most important part of your pontoon day on the lake is being comfortable. And furniture, that plays a whole lot into that comfort. So when we get on here, first thing I'm gonna notice is how plush this is. As you can see, there's a solid, you know, 10 inches of foam right here, comfortable to sit on, comfortable to put your back on, and same on your bottom end here. Comfortable seats that are high quality and built to last. Uh, you won't find anything in this price range that has this quality of furniture available to you. So really, really solid when you sit on it, the right amount to give and really, really comfortable for that day on the lake. Many days on the lake aren't just an hour or two. Sometimes it's that seven, eight hour day and you want to be comfortable. If you're you know, out there for that seven or eight hour day, cup holders are a huge part of what you're going to do. You're going to be thirsty when you're on the lake. This boat may only seat six people, but there's 11 cup holders. They're nicely recessed to keep your beverage cold as long as you're out on the lake. So there's two here, two more here that are great for, you know, while you're sitting here and relaxing. Got your beverage here beside you. Two more recessed cup holders here, as well as a couple more right here by the helm. And honestly, the most important one right here for the captain. As we work ourselves a little further forward, you notice there's no gap here between the door 
in the furniture. So the furniture is as large and as plush as possible. So many lines you might see cut this furniture a little bit short, leaving a less comfortable front seat. This Sun Chaser, really, really comfortable front seat. So if you're here in the corner, you can look back, have that conversation with everyone in the back of the boat and be comfortable while you're doing it. Finally, I want to take a walk up to the captain's seat, as you can see here. This is a nice mid-back captain seat that you're seeing. It's going to be comfortable for anyone who wants to drive that boat. So if you're tall, plenty of support for your back, easy to move. A couple different features down here as well. So this boat does, seat does turn for you. So you can turn around, talk to your um, passengers on the boat, move it back to drive it. It does move forward and backwards, so it fits any one of any height requirements. Just really, really well done from the Vista line of pontoon boats. Next thing we want to take a quick look at is the helm. So I'm going to take you over to another Sun Chaser boat. We're going to take a quick look at the helm. So here we are on StarCraft's LX20F, which is a fishing cruise model. Really, really comfortable. We're going to talk a little bit about the helm, which has everything that you're going to need for your pontoon boat. So as we look here at the dash, there's a lot going on, but it's all important to what you're going to do on the day on the lake. So the first thing we see here in the top corner is an RPM gauge and a fuel gauge. These have really nice sized fuel tanks. They offer a 21 gallon tank. So it's going to give you plenty of gas to get yourself through a day of boating and many times multiple days of boating, depending on the engine you use. RPM gauge allows you to track how many RPMs you're doing on the lake. Uh, another huge piece that we're putting on all of our boats standard this year is the Humminbird Helix 5 Fish Finder Depth Finder. So really nice option here from the Helix 5. It gives you water temperature when you're on the lake, shows you your speed, and shows you see where all those fish are hiding. So if you're someone who does love to catch a few, whether you keep them or throw them back in, the Humminbird Helix 5, great option to help you find them. Also, as we take a peek here at the helm, you do notice there's a nice courtesy light here. So if you're on the lake after dark, you know, simply turn that light on, get a little glow on your boat so you can get on and off safely, keep everyone comfortable while they're on board. Finally, as we take a little bit further look back here, we do see really nice storage built in here. So whether you want to keep your boat registration, any of those extra supplies, your fire extinguisher, those options, you all want to keep at arm's length. Great place to put them all. So really nice features around the helm here. Uh, we also offer Bluetooth stereo on all of our boats. So a really nice looking Bluetooth stereo here, as well as a USB port to connect that phone to make sure you're staying charged while you're cranking your tunes all day long. As we take a little further look back here, we get to the back of the boat, which is where the fishing package of this is. And our Sun Chaser and StarCraft LX and Vista models, some offer a fishing package in the back, some offer a fishing package in the front, but really, really nice options for someone who, you know, maybe half the family wants to cruise, the other half really loves to fish. So one thing you'll notice here, it looks like a great seat, maybe a cooler for you, but it's a live well. So it's completely plumbed. So if you're taking a load of crappie off the lake, going to go home and have a fish fry, great place to keep those fish fresh while you're on the lake catching. As we see here, we have some really comfortable fishing seats. These aren't, these aren't cheap and they give, have just the right amount of give. They do swivel as well. So if you want to throw a line off the back, you know, lean back, relax, and enjoy what that fishing package is like. Catch a few fish, throw them in, keep them, whatever's better for you. But these fishing seats, really, really high quality. It's some of the best you'll find in the marine industry. Um, high density foam, they're comfortable, but they're also really, really functional, perfect for going out and enjoying the day on the lake that way. Finally, I want to take a look at some of the fabric options um, that all of our StarCraft and Sun Chaser boats offer. We're going to talk about the nice bimini tops, the full covers, those types of things. So why don't you join me on the LX20R? As you know, no one likes to be hot on their boat. So all of our StarCraft and Sun Chaser boats offer a bimini top. Bimini covers about half the boat. It opens easily. I'm going to show you how to do it real quick. So a couple of zippers here on each side. Right Very quickly, grab one of the legs, open it right on up, secures itself nicely here, just like that. Gives you a great way to cruise, stay cool, and for everyone, whether they want to be in the sun or out of the sun, a place to sit and enjoy their boat ride. With any boat ride, you also are going to have safety equipment a full cover, things that are important. So storage is just a really big deal on any pontoon boat you have. 
The StarCraft LX and the SunChaser Vista offer great storage. As you can see, lots of space under the seats, um, plastic to protect all your speaker and speaker wires, and a really cool moat system to make sure the water, if it gets under the seat, gets out quickly and keeps that area dry and keeps it um, free of mildew and any type of mold. So really well constructed there and really well done. It makes the day on the lake even better. Thanks again for joining us today. It was great going over these boats with you. If there's anything we can do for you, if you'd like to learn more about these boats, check us out on our website at www.charlesmillmarina.com or give us a call or text us at 419-368-5951. We'll see you soon.